Hey, Raymond. Hi. How's it going? Look, I just took some pictures of you and I printed them. I have this one and I have that one and I have that one. I want to put them up here. Let's put you here and let's put you here. What do you think? Where should this one go? Okay. I'm going to keep straightening out these shelves. All right. Well, fine. See you later. In a few of our recent videos, we've talked about achieving a film look with digital photography. Whether it's for nostalgia, your artistic style, or just some casual experimentation, a film look is timeless. And while we talked about ways to achieve this in the camera and in post-processing software, one thing that can be easy to forget is that not too many years ago, if you were looking at your own or someone else's photographs, chances are, that you were looking at prints, <laughs> whether they were small enough to hold in your hand or larger prints hanging on a wall. And yes, one of the ways to get a film look from your digital photos is to actually print them right here in the three dimensional world. I'm going to admit something. Raymond and I both have a problem. In each of our big adventures each year, we've traveled somewhere, often bringing with us gear that we own or borrow for manufacturers. Each day, we drive our itinerary by the photo opportunities presented to us. Each night, we back up our images and then clear our memory cards for the next day. When we get home, we package the best of the best photos into videos for you all. And then usually, just a few days later, we're planning out our next video, sending gear back, unboxing new gear, and plotting our next adventure there's a missing piece. It's a rare day that we sit down and look at those photos together from our adventures. It's not that we don't look at the images at all, but it can kind of be awkward to look at them together on a phone or a tablet or computer. And when I'm showing someone a photo on my phone, I'm always thinking, what if they scroll to the next image on impulse? I don't think I have anything weird in my album. What Raymond and I, and I suspect many of you, forget to do is to take that time to appreciate those sometimes rare adventurous moments. In fact, something that we're trying to do more of is to print our images. Some large and hanging on our walls, but many others printed in a smaller format and left in places that we know we'll accidentally find them. In fact, when I was doing my weekly snooping in Raymond's office looking for snacks, I found Raymond's stack of family photos. He has them within reach right next to this 4x6 printer that we've had for years. This brings me to my favorite new printer that has me printing at least several times per week. The Lien 2x3 inch Zinc Wireless Printer. It's wireless because you print to it wirelessly, but it's also wireless because you charge it up via a USB-C cable and then it will go and go and go. It gets about 30 color image prints on a charge or 60 black and white prints. Plus, the printer is inkless. The zinc paper is all you need to load into the printer to make prints. Lian sent this and is sponsoring this video, which I'm grateful for because I love this printer. If I had known how much I would love this printer, I would have purchased it a long time ago. In fact, I accepted the sponsorship because I've looked at printers like this before. These very small and very easy to use printers that I can toss into my bag and just take with me everywhere. I took it to my parents' house with me the other day and I printed a photo of their dog and immediately hung it on their refrigerator. I hung it up there with a magnet because my mom wouldn't want anything stuck to the fridge, but one really cool thing about these prints is that they're adhesive. You can peel off the back and stick them anywhere. I know I talked about printing photos from the big adventures that we go on, but I am equally as excited to capture photos in everyday life and print them on the spot and even stick them on Raymond on the spot. Incidentally, Leanne also has a four x six printer, similar to the one Raymond has in his office, that you could also take a look at if these little two by three photos are too small for your liking. We do like these little prints because they're wallet sized and they're handy to hang pretty much anywhere. I like to think of them as memory joggers. To me, there's few things more powerful than taking an extra moment with that photo that you found hanging around the house and let the memories and feelings come back. Recently, we've taken you through our digital storage and backup process, but 
that's more for image management and preservation rather than the feelings that a print can bring back to mind. I've talked about printing on this channel before, and Raymond and I always say that we're going to print more and hang the prints around our home. But especially if I'm using my big photo printer, it's a time commitment to get it running and load the paper and create the print. I end up procrastinating and then never printing. And this little printer does a great job of removing that friction from the printing process. It's so accessible and easy to use that I can print photos from my phone in just a few seconds. I can even transfer photos from my camera to my phone with most newer cameras and then print, which only takes a couple minutes more. And then my favorite part of the process is taking those prints and putting them places that I know that I'll find them later. Maybe it's in a drawer or tucked into the frame of a larger print, maybe a few in a handbag or a backpack and maybe some to bring over to my parents' house and stick to their fridge, maybe when they're not looking. Whether it's for me or if I'm being sneaky and leaving prints with a close friend, I know that photo prints bring people joy, a joy that they would not find if these images were captured but then taken home and copied to my computer with the idea that I would share them at a later time. Again, a, a time that may never come due to daily life getting in the way. I love photography and I love photos. And if I have an easy, super portable way to print without any hassle or problems, which I now do have, <laughs> that's something that I can get my hands around and spread the joy that real physical photographs can bring. I realize that sounded like a sales pitch and I guess it is. I'm not trying to sell you this particular printer, though I can tell you that I love it and I do recommend it. Raymond and I have already ordered more of the zinc paper packs so that we don't run out, but the sales pitch here is to print your photos however you feel comfortable with so that you have your memories up on your walls or your fridge or stuck in your wallet, maybe stuck to your laptop, wherever. I do have a link in the description along with a discount code for you if you'd like to try out this printer, but before you go, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Do you print a lot? How do you do it? Definitely let me know if you use a tiny printer like this. And last, thank you to Leanne for sending this printer and for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching.